So is it practical to run into battle as a Viking when you have a sword, an axe and a good helmet? And as you can see I'm wearing a Viking helmet with full mail. But how easy is it to run into battle? I have a chin strap on my Viking helmet to keep it secure which is very essential and you must always put your chin strap on and make sure your helmet is fastened to your head. But let's demonstrate in this very short long format video running in battle. Because I'm not carrying a shield and I'm about to run. So there you go. Now one tip I do say is make sure you've got a good padded helmet because your helmet does bounce up and down and the last thing you want is you give yourself a headache. I've got a hat under here but this helmet could do with a little bit more padding. This is a job for another day. But that kind of demonstrates and shows you how easy it is to run in this gear. And of course you must have your helmet well secured on. I don't actually have my chin strap strapped on so if it was strapped up it will be even firmer but let's take my helmet off there you go and that is much of a relief because I do love a good Viking helmet and this is a wonderful helmet I must say well made and I do love the mail but it's riveted I don't own a lot of riveted mail but that kind of demonstrates running but let's run without a helmet put my helmet down so and I'm going to get my sword out this time and my axe let's go So, again, running without a helmet is just as great, and you must always have a good kit which you feel comfortable in. I'm a bit out of breath now. Like this video, and it's goodbye from me, goodbye from Braggy. Welcome to Northworthy Sagas and Stories. Please subscribe and also click on the notification bell. Thank you for watching. Thank you.